Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the 6th grade concept of simplifying expressions using order of operations. We'll do it in 5 minutes or less. If you've ever heard of order of, of operations, you probably have heard this mnemonic over here on the left side. It says, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And what we use this for is the first letter of each word tells us the order in which we simplify expressions. Please is for parentheses. We use the P for parentheses. After we deal with any parentheses, we go for our exponent, which is represented by excuse. Now, my dear represents multiply and divide. Now, when we're listing out PEMDAS, we have to put one for word in front of the other, but these two are equal because they are inverse operations. So what that means is they are on the same level. When you have simplified your parentheses and your exponents, you deal with multiplication and division as equal, and it only matters which one comes first, left to right. So if a division comes before a multiplication, you're going to end up doing the division first because they are equal inverse operations. The same thing with Aunt Sally. Even though we say addition before subtraction because the ant comes before the word Sally, they once again are equal. So if you're dealing with subtraction and addition left to right, if subtraction comes before addition, you're going to deal with the subtraction first. So really there's four phases. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication or division, and then addition or subtraction. Remember that these two are equal and these two are equal. Let's see what this looks like. So let's take a look at this fairly large expression. You notice I've got my please excuse my dear Aunt Sally over here on the side to help me remember the order of operations. But I have my multiplication and division on the same line and my addition and subtraction on the same line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my P parentheses. And you see I have two parentheses here, one here and one here. So I'm going to rewrite my expression. And what I'm going to do is simply I'm going to resolve my parentheses. I'm going to leave that three. I'm going to first deal with 16 minus 14. That's fairly simple. That's 2. So really, that's going to be a 3 times 2 right there. And then divided by, now I have another expression here. This is going to be 4 plus 2 squared. So when you have order of operations within parentheses, you still use the order of operations to figure out what to do first. So within this parentheses right here, my exponent is going to come before my addition. So I need to resolve this exponent. So really what that's going to be is that's going to be 2 squared, that's going to be 4. So it's going to be 4 plus 4, because the 2 squared makes this 4. So I'm going to end up resolving that into an 8. So what we need to do now is we need to rewrite this, but let's go ahead and get rid of that parentheses here. And when you have a 3 parentheses 2, that implies multiplication. Whenever you have a number outside of parentheses and you don't see any other operation. So I'm going to go ahead and just make that look like a parentheses. That parentheses look like a multiplication as well. So 3 times 2 divided by, I'm going to collapse this, 4 plus 4, that's really 8. So you see here I've got 73, haven't touched that yet. I've got a minus, I have an exponent, so that's going to be next. I need to take care of this exponent. And so what we have here is we've got 73 minus, well, 4 squared, that's going to be 16, times 3, times 2, divided by 8. Now, the 73 minus, and then all of this together, I'm just going to go in order from left to right. And so what we see here is I'm going to zoom this in over here so I've got a little bit more room. And we're going to look at this 16 times 3, times 2, divided by 8. So 16 times 3, that's going to be 48. Then I'm going to take that and I'm going to multiply it by 2. So times 2, that's going to equal 96. And then I need to divide that by 8. So 96 divided by 8, well, that's going to end up as 12. So what I end up having is 73 minus 12 and 73 minus 12, that is going to make 61. This final expression we could have rearranged using the commutative property since all the operations were equal here. We could have done 16 divided by 8, move that up here, that would have been a 2, 3 times 2 would have been 6, and 2 times 6 still would have given us our 12.